everyone, and welcome to lesson number three of the Orange Strap Studies. In this lesson, we're going to be working on right hand technique with a pick for strumming. And there's six basic rhythms that we're going to be doing. So grab your pick and let's begin. So the first rhythm we're going to do is a whole note. And that means we're going to strum and we're going to let everything ring for four beats. Two, three, four. However, I want you guys to mute the strings with your left hand just like this for now, so it's muted. All the strings sound dead and there's nothing ringing through. We're simply going to be striking the strings every four beats. So the key is to keep the wrist loose and we're going to strike swiftly and loud and hard. Make sure the pick follows through all six strings. Two, three, four, also, we want to keep the pick close to the strings after striking them. See how the pick just stays right there rather than going very far away. So the closer you are, the faster you can play. Okay, so every four. One, two. Now let's go ahead and move to half notes. So one, two, one, two. So every two beats, we're striking all the way through, right on beat. Let's go ahead and move to quarter notes. So now quarter note is every beat. Every beat we're going to strike right with the metronome or drum or whatever you're playing with, keeping a nice, consistent, steady time. Now let's go ahead and do a few just strumming up, upstrokes. This might feel a little awkward, a little harder just going up. But we're going to do the same thing, follow through all six strings, swift, and we want to just hear one sound rather than, we don't want to hear this, we just want to hear like there's only one string. So go back down, let's go back down. Now we're going to go ahead and do eighth notes, down, up, ready, twice as fast. Same thing, striking through all six strings, both sides. And we try to get equal volume out of each strike. One and two and three and four and. That's how you count the eighth note. One and two and three and four and. For right, even time. The next rhythm we're going to play is a triplet, which happens three times for every quarter note. And we're going to do down, down, up. Ready? So this is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Also, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. You want to make sure you're striking through all the strings and having an evenly spaced time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three times per quarter note. So there's two strumming patterns for the triplet that I want you to be good at. The next one is down, up, down. Let's try that. So down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. See that? Down, up, down. Down, up, down. We just keep it going. Down, up, down. One trip, two trip, but three trip, but four trip, but one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Next one we're going to do is a 16th note, which happens four times for every quarter note. Alright, ready? Just like this. It's like one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now when we're doing this, make sure your wrist is super loose and very relaxed. 
You want to be super relaxed, kind of like you're whipping the wrist. Like this. See this? Whipping the wrist. Not holding on tight, just very relaxed. No tension in the arm, the hand, anywhere. Super relaxed. You want to become a master of the 16th note. So just play this for a very long time, or for a few minutes, whatever feels good. Make sure you're nice and in time. Striking all six strings every time. Ready, stop. Thanks so much for strumming along with me and great job. And make sure to do these basic rhythms in your daily practice routine, all right? This will make you an amazing rhythm player and we're gonna focus on our time and good technique. So great job and we'll be seeing you in the next lesson.